this record has been kind of quick in the matter of what normal records are. Uh, I started writing the songs for it beginning in January of 2019. And um, I wrote between January and I think April, uh, which I busted my butt writing, which it, it ended up being like three or four days a week that I was writing and really trying to sift through these songs and figure out uh, what stories were my stories and what stories were just um, you know other things that needed to be written and then after that the process of choosing songs and figuring out exactly how I want this to all be um, cohesively put together you know, meeting with producer which was Bill McDermott here in Nashville and getting paired with him and first of all just trying to figure out exactly what we wanted it to sound like because I'm very much in the songwriter realm of just hearing what it sounds like with a guitar and vocals. Um, and so he was great in that of hearing what I wanted and what I liked in other music and really bringing it to life in a way um, that sounded like me and sounded like uh, what I wanted to say. Um, and then after that, it was finding the band and recording all of it. And then after that, it was putting it out, which was kind of the, the most scary part of it. Um, and all of that kind of happened within a very quick time. And so it was kind of like a whirlwind of getting everything out. But uh, it was kind of good that it came out that quick so I couldn't be anxious about it. Just more of worrying about how people were going to react to the songs and how they were going to like them and if they were going to be something that um, would seem timeless and that would seem like something that was universal for people to, to want to listen to. So the EP title Big Girl World came, um, obviously it's the title track off of the album, but whenever I looked at the four songs that we had chosen for the record, um, they were all songs that had encompassed stories that had happened in the last three and a half years um, of living in Nashville, but obviously from a lot of past experiences of growing up in the country, in North Carolina, um, and growing up on all the classic country music artists. Um, but as I was looking at all the titles of the songs and the stories of what they were telling, it was all very um, big girl situations that you had to deal with, whether it was falling in love, whether it was getting your heart broken, whether it was... Um, in Big Girl World, the case of graduating and having to pay all of your bills on your own, which can be scary. Um, or just, you know, trying to trying to make a life after a, another um, turn of events in your life. And so uh, I really felt that Big Girl World was the correct um, and the most fitting title for the EP, just because it kind of encompassed all of the different situations that you can be facing and having to deal with them. Um, a big girl and as my mom would say just putting on your big girl pants and um, putting on a smile and going through it and dealing with it in the best way possible and I really feel like that's what this record um, means to me. I'm Paige King Johnson and you can find all of my music at pagekingjohnson.com or on Instagram and Facebook at Paige King Johnson.